Hello Church, this is Pastor Tony. My topic for today, Church Aflame or Lukewarm. Let me pause. How are you doing and how is your family doing? May you be blessed and your family as well. Let us continue. Under the old covenant law, fire on the altar was kept continually burning. Leviticus 6.13 Moses experienced a burning bush phenomenon. What does that mean? Just like in the burning bush, no insects or germs could survive in it. So with the true disciple of Jesus aflame with the Holy Ghost fire, no unloving attitudes can survive. A pastor of a mega church was asked the secret of his big church. He replied, I set myself on fire and watch others see me burn. Now a church is either superficial or supernatural. The fire never falls on the altar, but it falls on the sacrifice. Some preachers need to put more fire in their sermons or put their sermons in the fire. Someone said, Give others what they cannot get anywhere else and they will keep returning. Revelation 3, 14-22 The church of Laodicea was lukewarm, spiritually dead, though right in doctrines. A warning for us. God wants our hearts continually aflame for Him and for others. A heart can respond in three ways. How? Hot, fervent love, cold, bitterness, unforgiveness, lukewarm, indifference. So how a heart can respond in three ways. Hot, cold or lukewarm. Hot, fervent love, cold, bitterness, unforgiveness, lukewarm, indifference. God hates lukewarm. Even if we cast out the spirit of bitterness from our heart and leave it cleansed and empty, it can get lukewarm again. Luke 11 verse 24 to 26. We must fill it with fervent love for all our fellow believers. Romans 5 5. In fact, the Lord might prefer a cold heart. Revelation 3 15. Sinful, which can be changed through awareness of his wrongdoings. Matthew 21 31. But he does not like a lukewarm, indifferent, compromising, half-hearted Christian who disgraces the name of Jesus by his worldliness. Correction has its place and the church needs to be corrected. But so many people don't like, including people in leadership, they don't like correction. But many think correction is criticism. No, it is not. Criticism points to your flaws. Correction point to your potential. Now there are two ways to learn wisdom. Mentors and mistakes. Learning for, from the mistakes of mentors or learning from your own mistakes. How much better to learn from the mistakes of mentors and not repeat them? Now many say they are mentors but all they do is to mentor the mentors. A protege, one who reports to his mentor, withdraws when he believes his vision's goals are superior to the mentor. He becomes discouraged when the mentor expresses disapproval. That is why I am a teacher to many but mentor to a very few. I want to repeat. Many say they are mentors but all they do is mentor the mentors. A protege withdraws when he believes his own vision's goals are superior to, to those of the mentor. He believes that. He becomes discouraged when the mentor corrects, expresses disapproval. That is why I am a teacher to many but a mentor to a few. The Lord exhorts the church of Laodicea to burn with zeal and repent. Revelation 3.19 We must be zealous and wholehearted about our repentance too. The Lord is now standing outside the church knocking trying to get in. Revelation 3.20 in the meetings of the church, however, it is business as usual with praise and prayer and preaching going on with monotonous regularity. 
but the congregation is ignorant of the fact that the lord himself is on the outside don't ever belong to a church where the lord is outside the door it is easier to preach 10 sermon than to live one sermon no pressure no diamonds many are on a hotline with god they are self appointed they say god told me then every opportunity they get they run to the mic don't look to the outer man but discern the inward man let god send let others recognize and then respond the lord calls individuals in the church to open their hearts to him how by burning with zeal and repentance the door is not the door of intellect or emotion it is the door of will our will when our will is yielded the lord enters in and fellowship with us in our spirit our will is so important the door of our will which is when yielded the lord enters we are called to be like a burning bush a church of flame not lukewarm let our words be few but charged with transforming power god bless you